So, in a earnest but probably good morning, uh, fruitless uh, endeavor to attempt to start this whole weight loss thing, I didn't eat enough yesterday. That is one of the major problems that I have balancing um, anxiety because it takes so much energy to keep myself de-stressed that um, I, if I start getting a little hungry, I start wavering a little bit. I go from peckish to hangry real quick. So I didn't eat enough yesterday and was a little bit calorie deficient. And then with, as I found out last night, <coughs> yeah, probably why this ear was ringing a little bit. I probably got lit up when I wasn't expecting it because um, I was in my head and not fully thinking. Uh, word to the wise, <laughs> make sure you're mentally present for practice. Don't be horribly distracted with bullshit. I'm heading to the store. My swap isn't for another 20 minutes, but I need food, and that's what reminded me. Um, I'm not saying that, yeah. I had a practice, and the next practice will be fine. <laughs> that's just how it is. You know, I can't freak out that I had a crap test of practice last time. Um, and that the next one's gonna be worse, and the next one's gonna be worse, and the next one's gonna be worse. That's what the coach last night told me. Just move on to the next one. To be fair, I didn't necessarily have, I mean, I had I had pretty good practices afterwards, or had pretty good, you know, team and whatnot, but I had to just kind of get out of my head for, for a reason. Anyways, I don't wanna to talk too much because then I get distracted and don't buy what I need. A few moments later. Well, that was, the rain has stopped. Um, yeah. I'm uh, not really. Just we've had some kind of some storms rolling through today. There's a low pressure. Uh, between Scotland and uh, Norway, and it's been kind of throwing stuff our way. It's uh, what most of the we had like light showers last night, and then it kind of came down. <sighs> Anyways, been laying down. Neck's been cracked. Most of it's okay. I've been using the the fascial thing, but it's kind of hard because this is my adept arm. <laughs> So it's like trying to get down to it and up and over. It's like I'm using the muscle while I'm trying to relax it. So I'm gonna have Aaron do something later tonight. I just, for those of you who are new, as I've watched the subscribers rise a crap ton, and if people have requested and have subscribed from the uh, linebacker video, then you're probably gonna be watching new videos, especially the one that was went up about 10 minutes ago, 37 minutes ago, whatever. <laughs> and so, it's a bit, and so it's, it's awkward because y'all don't know that I have general anxiety disorder. Um, so, I'm working on it with my therapist. I understand some people have their reservations about therapy. <laughs> um, but basically, I, I've realized over the many years that I have cyclic uh, anxiety panic attacks. Um, I'm taking a wild guess that so there's one, there's a wave that happens every two months. Um, one of the big ones, the last big one to happen was when things were getting a little too excessive with the tattoo. 
and I had kind of a crazy attack thinking it was never going to work out right, things are going to suck. Um, usually comes with a feeling of failure. Uh, I felt it last Thursday. Uh, attempted to work past it on Sunday, and then this Thursday it came to head again. They're not exactly two months, but when you're looking at like late July to early October, there's about two months in between. It could even have been early August. I don't know. <laughs> but I've been vlogging long enough and dealing with myself long enough that there's uh, every two month one. And then three times a year, there's a slightly larger one that usually involves a crying attack. I think that's what happened back in July because I was just like, <laughs> Right, July, August, um, I just absolutely snapped because I couldn't make it out to practice. The tattoo was getting things worse and like all the fun stuff was happening outside and I couldn't go outside because, well, tattoo. Now the sun's low enough and it's cold enough, I'm wearing long sleeves. And by the time summer comes around again, I should be able to go outside with the tattoo. Anyways, so I'm just covering the bases here and then there's big six month ones and I try I try to mitigate them because that's the thing. But just to let you know, if you guys ever feel down and you feel like things aren't working out well and things suck, you can talk to me. You can, if it's super private, you can direct message me on Twitter uh, or Instagram. Uh, Facebook's kind of weirdly locked down. You can talk to the athlete page. It is linked below, or just look for Theodore Lasoski. Uh, I think it's linked below. Um, anyways, uh, and so that's that's pretty much that. <laughs> Not really doing much. Just having a come down day. Hopefully Sunday's practice will be better because I'll uh, I'll have gotten a lot out of my system. Sometimes I have to wait for it to break and I have to scream it out and like deal with the thralls um, in order to get the the pressure cooker. Uh, it's a pressure cooker so I'm working with my therapist to see if I can figure out how to lower the heat on my pressure cooker so I don't explode nearly as often. Although I will say this, I don't know what I would be without the thing. And much like I was explaining with someone in the comments on the linebacker video, motivation, like as much as I have panic attacks, as much as I have anxiety about being a failure to guys on the team, I continuously go back because I want to do this. I want to play football. I want to be a linebacker. I want to get better, but not every day is perfect. Not every day is wonderful. Look, we have a comment on that video. You guys are so obsessed with your freaking height and weight. Five, nine and a half, <laughs> of course. 160 outside linebacker, any tips? You're doing fine. You're freshman. You still have three more, four more years. And then college if you want to. Anyways, the restaurant back there. I don't know what Aaron and I are doing. The bridge is out. And I'm not sure what we're going to be able to get for dinner. Aaron's like, you want to swing by the store and get stamp pot? I'm like, what? Are we suddenly poor? I don't know. Stamp pot's good, but I don't know how to serve it well. Like, enough. I want to eat a lot of it, but my eyes are always bigger than my stomach. 